One last thing on the subgroups, you'll notice that as you assign your subgroups, they have a value here, S2 or S1 or whatever subgroup they're in. So your UI24 will actually indicate it right on the main uh, mixing page which subgroup they're placed in. Which brings me to the next type of group we're going to talk about, these V groups, which are VCAs. VCAs or DCAs, as they're known in uh, some mixing circles, uh, like Behringer calls them DCAs, um, are one of the most mis most often misunderstood mixing concepts out there. Um, they're used all the time, but many beginners get really confused by this, and even some people have mixed for a long time. A VCA traditionally stands for a voltage-controlled amplifier, and it's a way for one fader to control the level of a group of faders. So in the analog world, this is a voltage change, a voltage control amplifier. But in the digital realm, um, sometimes the term DCA is used for a digital controlled amplifier, or some mixers stick with the traditional VCA name just to avoid confusion. I like to uh, think of them as a virtual control amplifier because uh, that's what it kind of is. It's a virtual control of several faders. So let's take a look at how this is set up and how it works in practice. If I go to my settings menu here and I go to VCAs, okay, I have a few VCA groups I've set up. One is vocals. One is the strings. You'll notice and her uh, voice. So she sang and played in the same microphone. That might be a reality sometimes and you'll just have to adjust the microphone and you have to kind of compromise on EQ. Two VCA groups, let's say I muted the vocals for the um, string solo. Well, the problem is it's going to, when I mute the vocals, it would also mute this microphone. So we only want to assign them to one VCA on the UI24R. And then the band this is all of my instruments except for drums and strings. And then my drums. Okay, so I have four VCA groups. The last two I did not assign. So let's actually assign one more because this is kind of a cool concept. So when we did our uh, subgroups, we noticed we could only assign channels. In VCAs, we can assign channels effects returns, and also our auxes, or matrix. So I'm going to make one for my effects and call it effects. It's a hard word to spell. So there is fx. Okay. So now if I go to my VCAs, masters, I can see them all right here. And an amazing feature that this mixer has, and uh, several digital mixers do this for screen type mixing. Um, you don't see this a lot on hardware mixers until you start spending tens of thousands of dollars on mixers, because on a hardware mixer, this is kind of complicated to think through um, and make it lay out nicely. But on a software mixer like this, um, we can do this more easily, and that is a VCA spill. So what a spill does, if I click on this right here, it shows me all the channels that are in that VCA. So from this VCA view, I can really get to all of my channels really quickly, and I can do a rough mix from just the VCAs. So it's a really awesome feature. Or you could set up something like this if your mixer doesn't offer that. So under drums, I've created a view group. Many mixers offer a view group nowadays, um, hardware or software mixers. So if I can do a custom view, all right, so here's my VCA and then all the faders that go with it. Okay, and then I have a couple other faders that I've added, including my drum group. And then I'll talk about this later in the video, but I've created a second path for my drums. So I could see the same thing on this mixer by hitting the spill button and it'll show me all those channels. And that's just an awesome feature, um, as I mentioned. So let's look at some differences between a VCA group and a subgroup. So here I have both. Both are active. So I'm going to unmute my channels. And I found some perspective and I finally lost 
So again, I'm gonna talk about this later. So I'm gonna mute that for now. And then my drums, okay, if I adjust this VCA. So here's Unity, if I double click up here. And if I start bringing this down, it'll bring down all of my drum faders, not visually, but before we get to the drum faders, it'll bring them all down by whatever amount I pull this back. So you hear, so you could hear the drums fading back in the mix. Now you would have noticed they didn't go totally away. And why is that? Well, we have drum, we have mic bleed. Okay, just like in a live show, um, because this was recorded live, all the mics on stage have some drums in them because they're loud. So we're going to have bleed. Um, sometimes you don't need the mic, the drum set, depending on your venue. So um, as I pull back the drum fader, I am going to get rid of some drums. Another thing you can do with a VCA is to use it to drive your um, subgroup. So in this case, we have a subgroup and a VCA. So what I can do, if I have uh, both these faders up, Dave Rat has a great video on this. So if I go here, if I turn up my VCA, we're going to start driving our compressor harder. So I could do something like this, if I want to really compress drums all of a sudden. So I just crank this up. You can see I'm hitting my compressor harder now. Getting more noise, more uh, reduction here. If I back the threshold down, you'll see this even more. And I could keep those compressed drums at a softer volume. Or I could bring this back down. Now I'm not gonna hit the compressor quite as hard. And I could raise the level up here. And if I raise the level of my subgroup, I'm not hitting my compressor harder. Because this fader is coming after this compressor. But again, if I lift this up, I'm gonna get more reduction. Or if I pull it back, now I'm not getting really any reduction. So you can use that feature to kind of control how much you're pushing your subgroup um, and how much, how much compression you wanna push your drum group into. Okay, another kind of group is mute groups. I don't really use mute groups that much on this mixer. And the reason is because a VCA kind of doubles as a mute group. So the only mute group I really normally need is this one. <laughs> and the UI24 has one, the, the emergency button, um, the mute all. Um, maybe you wanna create one, maybe you have some playback. Um, Sometimes, you know, I have a channel that's playback music and I wouldn't want that to be included in the mute all, you know, between say between band setting up playing, you can make your own mute group. Um, now the other option, uh, like I said, a VCA basically is a mute group though. So if I go to my VCA masters here, you'll see, you'll see I can mute each thing one by one. There goes my vocals, there goes my strings the rest of my band, except my drums. So all I have left are my effects returns and they're gone. So the reason to set up a VCA for your effects returns is so that when you're talking uh, to your audience or, or your band is talking to the audience, you can just go ahead and hit the effects mute and they'll all turn off. Okay, so these are double as a master mute. So a VCA is very versatile.